Hello and welcome to another video. So over the next few weeks I will be changing my 3D printer from the uh, SmartRap Core AOU to a design by Tech2C called the Hypercube. Uh, so the reason why I'm doing this was this printer was was a great starter. I learned a lot from it. But there's a few issues. Um, one of which is this this bed method. Uh, it's very difficult to level. The inductive sensor does account for that, but it's still nice to have it reasonably flat. Uh, that printed part as well is um, it is just not square. Um, also, the z-axis is on a belt system, and that puts a lot of stress on this motor underneath. As you can see, it's at an angle. It's very difficult to get that belt tension properly as well, and I think. A lot of these parts were printed in PLA as well, so they've started to to fracture in places. Um, so, so yeah, plan to change the frame. Uh, so I'm going to have some 20 by 60 mm extrusion at the bottom, so all the electronics can be hidden underneath instead of on the side like this. Uh, I'm going to keep all the motors, um, everything else, the inductive sensor. Um, so as for the new electronics, here I've got a integrated lead screw for the Z-axis. So that's just a standard number 17 stepper motor which has been modified. Um, got a, a premium ramps board this time. Uh, exactly the same method as others but uh, this has things like some high quality connectors and Toshiba MOSFETs for the heated bed. So hopefully it shouldn't get too hot. Um, so I've got the original um, PCB heat bed from here, the Mark IIb, designed by Joseph Prusa. Uh, this is 3mm aluminium as well, uh, so that should be nice and sturdy. It's got a three-point levelling system on it as well, and there's going to be some toughened glass to get on top of that as well. Uh, power supply, I've got a 350 watt. This is a a standard used on most 3D printers now. Um, hardware wise got uh, some 8mm rods this time uh, this one uses 6 so this should be a bit more sturdy. Some uh, brackets for the z-axis uh, these are the only parts that won't be 3D printed to hold everything together uh, I just thought these were um, quite a good way of doing it. Uh, some corner brackets to hold the, together the frame, uh, some bearings, uh, some belts and thermistors and things. Uh, there's a few more parts still to come, uh, one of which will be an E3D hot-in, so should be able to print some uh, higher temp materials. Uh, so yeah, originally I was planning on uh, designing my own from scratch, but whilst I was researching it I came across Tech2C's channel and um, he's getting some really really uh, good quality prints from it um, one of the reasons is this x-axis has used aluminium rails with bronze bushings and that makes it very very light so there's no wobble as it travels back and forth um, so I think it'll be a very good very good basis to um, to uh, design my own parts in future so he's done some great work uh, so check out his channel I'll leave a link for it in the description and also please subscribe to my channel to stay updated with the build progress so uh, the next video will be on the frame and some hardware as well so thanks for watching and see you in the next video